Let's go! Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Teach Film Preach, and if you're a film lover like I am, and you learn from films as much as I do, and you're a Mario fan, then you're in the right place. Are you a fan of the video games? Are you a lover of the Mario world? Let me know with your thoughts and comments down below, and while you're down, to click like and subscribe for more content. Today we're talking about the 2023 Illumination Nintendo animated film, The Super Mario Bros. Movie. This film is about Brooklyn plumbers and brothers, Mario and Luigi, who magically travel through to the Mushroom Kingdom when Luigi is kidnapped by Bowser. So Mario gets help along with Toad and Princess Peach to find Luigi and to save the Mushroom Kingdom from the fire-breathing king of the Koopas, Bowser. This animated film is based on the video game, probably the most successful, the most popular video game of all time, Mario and the Super Mario Bros. Late 80s, early 90s, Nintendo was the rager. Nintendo and Sega, I had a Sega, but most of my friends had Nintendo, so I grew up playing all the Nintendo games, especially Mario. Almost anything to do with Mario, I am game. Let's go! I guess I could say I was highly anticipating this film. I did grow up with the Super Mario Bros. movie with Bob Hoskins as Mario and John Leguizamo as Luigi. <laughs> Oh man, it was so bad that Nintendo for years afterwards, for almost 20 years, didn't put out another video game adaptation film. That's gotta hurt. Yikes. I had to go back to the theaters about a week later so I could rewatch this film, so I could do a proper review, because I just wasn't quite sure how much I did enjoy it. And after the second viewing, I had an awesome time with this film. <laughs> Action-packed, it is adventurous, it is funny, engaging, sweet, hilarious, beautiful to look at. It is an awesome kids movie, and that's what it is. It is a kids film. It's meant for adults too because of the people who are now as kids were playing the game are now 30, 40, 50 years old. So this film is really a big, massive, family sprawling film. And that's the beauty about Mario and the Mario world. And they do justice to the characters, to the games. And I thought they did a stupendous job with the execution of this movie. The tone and the pacing, this film is quick. It's only an hour and 32 minute long film. The voice acting was great. Starting with Mario, when Chris Pratt was announced as Mario, I was not down for it. I was kind of one of the haters out there. I didn't think it was gonna go very well. And actually he did a pretty good job. You didn't see that coming? Would he still be my first choice as Mario? Nope. But for what they did and the creators and the directors and the team really worked well with Chris Pratt, it was a pretty good job. Woo! Charlie Day as Luigi was spot on perfect. I couldn't imagine anyone else. Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach was, again, just a great choice. Keegan-Michael Key as Toad was hilarious. It just kept taking that voice a little higher. I wasn't quite sure about Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. And then after seeing the film, actually he did a pretty good job. There were a few times where they had the Seth Rogen laugh. <laughs> But overall, he was great in the movie. Definitely the scene stealer of the entire film is Jack Black as Bowser. They definitely wrote the character of Bowser around Jack Black and made him a little bit more heavy metal seeming. And he's even got a funny, hilarious song. Second time I went and saw this film, people were singing Peaches as the character of Bowser was singing the song in the movie. Like it's become almost like a big, massive hit a karaoke song. I couldn't believe all these people knew the lyrics already. Peaches, peaches, peaches! Jack Black's a better singer. Peaches, peaches. But Jack Black was great. He was perfect. He's funny. He can sound mean and intimidated, but also have that like vulnerable side, which I thought the character of Bowser was explored fairly well in this film. Like you understood his villainy and he has a lot of insecurities and a lot of self-confidence problems I, I thought was hilarious. The music cues were awesome when they actually had the Mario music being played throughout the film. And in very smart ways, like at one point, Bowser is on the piano after he gets caught singing his song Peaches and he invites his henchmen to sit next to him and jam with him. And it's the underground theme song for the Mario game. So many great needle drops in this film. However, at times, because this is an Illumination studio production, they always have to put these like really 
ridiculous, over the top, generic, overused pop songs in their films because they want kids to dance and stuff. And, and I love that the movie's set in Brooklyn, but then they literally use No Sleep Till Brooklyn by the BC Boys and you know. No sleep till Brooklyn. I get it, it's a kid's film. It needs to be uplifting and fun and have these great pop songs. This world and all the Easter eggs that are laid throughout it from all the different games of Mario being wrapped up in one film. I thought they executed it very well. They had a really tough task. And I thought they achieved it. I love that you got to see Mario and Luigi in the real world as plumbers and they explored that a bit at the beginning of the film. My favorite moment in the film, which was like the 10 minute Mario Kart scene in the film. Oh. I was just so happy, it was so great. They did an awesome job of executing it and also making it make sense how it's a part of the story that they're trying to tell. It was almost like Mad Max Fury Road with the Nintendo Mario characters. I was like, oh my gosh, can we get Mario being like, oh, what a lovely day. Donkey Kong being like, witness me blood bag. Witness me blood bag. Peach teach Mario how to get through the course and just having the Mario level courses throughout the entire film. Mm, the nostalgia to this film is on an absolute high, like 12 out of 10 octane level. My nostalgic heart was just so full. This movie is simply too short. It's only an hour and 32 minutes long. I could have added another 10 minutes of this movie and I never say that on this channel. I wanted to explore this world a bit more where you're just thrown into this world in this movie. It's like, boom, go, 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 go. And then it ends and you're like, whoa, that was quick and fast. That was fast. A few scenes could have been a little bit longer, like the fight between DK and Mario. Awesome scene. It could have been another extra like three, four minutes long, even though that was one of my favorite scenes in this film. Yes, the story is a bit thin. However, I'm gonna pivot there right away. It's a kid's movie. The critics are just chugging back the haterade for this film. They're saying this film is thin and weak and stupid and ridiculous. It's an animated Illumination Studios Nintendo film. What more do you want? You want this film to be like No Country for Old Men with Mario? It's entertaining, it's fun, it's ridiculous, it's stupid, but it's meant to be. I think that critics need to chill a little bit, yo. All right, everyone, chill. Not everything needs to be dark and depressing or have secret meanings behind it. Sometimes kids just wanna be entertained for an hour and a half. Parents want something to throw their kids in front of so that they can have some peace and quiet. Fact that critics are like saying this movie's in it's like 40, 50, 60%. You know, it's like a C, C minus film. You are not having fun. They're just a bunch of fun suckers. Fun sucker. This film is great. It is a lot of fun. It is entertaining. Woohoo! It's probably a one of the better Illumination Studio films, maybe right up there with Despicable Me. Definitely worth checking out on the big screen. I highly recommend you go to the movie theater for this film with the big crowd, with all your friends. Sit back, relax. I'm gonna go ahead and give one of my favorite animated films so far this year, the Super Mario Bros. movie, an A minus. <laughs> what did you think of the Super Mario Bros. movie? Are you a fan of the video games? Did you think that they did the video games justice? I would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. And while you're down there, click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for checking out Mr. Teach Film Preach. Come back and check out some other videos like Air, Courting a Legend, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, and John Wick Chapter 4. Come back and check out some other videos and we'll see you on the next one. Stay focused, stay awesome, and as always, let's get taught.